there is the Vacas River. We gotta go way over there, and we came from over there. First camp on the track. Groups coming up right around here. Hola, Julia. How's it going? Do you know the time it took us? Yeah. How long? <laughs> yeah. Four hours? Yeah. Good time. How are we feeling? Camp one. Varsity Life Club. Doing Varsity great. Life Club. We're a little dusty, but that's okay. A lot of dusty. Lights are cool. Whoa! How are you feeling, Johnny? Yeah, great. Pre season so going we, well. Yeah, I gotta drink some water. Eugenia feeling good? Oh, well, too easy. Oh, my God. Give me another turn out. My thoughts, feelings. So great. Mules, some other people, other sites, our area, surroundings. at Casa de Piedra. And soon we can see Aconcagua. Yeah, we see part of Aconcagua. So you can see the top of it. That's not Aconcagua. To the left? The one on the left is part of it. This is another mountain with 6,000 6, meters. Mm -hmm. Amerino Mountain. What's the name? Amerino. Amarino? Amerino. Amerino. Yeah. And now we can see part of the police pressure. It's all between Camp 1 and Camp 2. We, when we move to Camp 2, we cross in the middle of the boat. Yeah. Come here. Hold on. That's not. Is that the summit? Yeah. It's the north summit. It's behind. Okay. Right? So we go around onto the yeah, north face. Yeah. Oh my god. First view. Yeah, the first view. Of all good. First views. First views. Motivated. Yes. We're making bets on uh, whose camp arrival time is correct. Whose camp arrival time? Yeah, so we have nine minutes to get there for Eugenia to be right, 12 for me. And Hermia. Really? Yeah, we are one hour and five minutes. Oh. We were both wrong. One hour and fifteen. It's a win win. Yeah. <laughs> I was way wrong. But you I was way longer. No, no, I said half an hour. <laughs> I didn't know it's a camp. I was talking to like this is not fair, you're all stopping. Yeah. How are you feeling, Maya? Feeling ready to get to camp? We have what? Nine minutes? Yeah. Nine minutes on my clock. Something like that. I'm purposely stalling, so it was extra three minutes. Now we're going to cross this river tomorrow. We're in Casa de Piedra. How 
house of stone. There's camp. And that valley is Rangers Valley. Over there is Akinkawa. Day number three. We are in Casa de Piedra. Mules are getting loaded. Okay, we're going to base camp. Yeah, eight hours. Let's do it. Wait, so we leave now, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. But hey, it'll be hot when we get there. We'll get there, there at like 4. <laughs> Will it though? Uh, probably sunny. It'll be way. sunny at least. Yeah. yeah. Sun up, but not where we are. Hard to get the perfect conditions. It is cold when we're not in the sun. Let's cross the river on a mule and they are crossing with their feet. Looks cold. <laughs> Looks cold. Oh, my God. Like a sauna, right? Oh, Warm. Oh my god, that's so cool. I do not feel the cold. I do not feel the cold. Just push through, push through. I feel like I just became a block of ice. Nice. Oh god. <laughs> oh, it's so cold. Oh my god. Can I just put your whole body in there? They're still coming. We are on the way to base camp and just went up kind of that path down from over there. Casa de Piedra is somewhere way over there, a little bit to the left down in that farthest valley. There's Hernan catching up to us. How are we feeling guys? <laughs> stadium stadium steps work like, not work that felt like the stadium felt like stadium yeah 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 and you can't stop there's no railing and we're five minutes the railing makes a difference the railing makes honestly sometimes whenever we're like going downhill i don't like the poles like i want them going i just want to use my hands to like save life mm -hmm. Wow. 
Oh yeah, we're at base camp. <laughs> what up, world? Where are we? We're at base camp, Plaza Argentina, day four. Rest day. Rest day number one. We're in our domo. There's Nina. Nina, how you feel? Turn on my socks. I feel okay. Yesterday, I felt very rough, but I've recovered about 70%. Great, great. Jonathan, how you feel? I feel well rested. Uh, ready to take on tomorrow's challenge. Nice. So what is tomorrow's challenge? Tomorrow, we carry a shitload of weight up to Camp 1, and then yeah. we come right back down. How far up is Camp 1? 800 meters, which is going to feel like quite a bit. Yeah, and where are we right now? We are currently at... Plaza Argentina. Something like 13,000, 14,000 feet. Yeah, 13,800 feet. I'm the only one in the group who's felt sick. <laughs> <laughs> we also learned last night that there is no option failure, so we're going to stop here. Or I'm stopped here. Basically, it's like scary shit. Hi, Maya. Hi, John. You guys were on yeah. track. Well, we ended up sitting at the Inca place for like. Oh, in those chairs? They're yeah. super comfy. You were oh, like the plush chairs? Oh, we were on video. Yeah, you're on video. Right? Oh, I get it now. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's where the big Jenga was. Did you play Big Jenga? No. no. Uh, Wait, oh, I want to go there after lunch. I wanna get yeah, do we have lunch yet? No, it's lunch is in 10 minutes. Oh. I feel like I didn't walk enough in these boots. I haven't this been little been place is where we oh, eat and open. hang out. And then we yeah, also have our yeah. personal tents where we sleep. Yeah, feel the bottoms are like really soft. I think I need to loosen these because I like, actually can't. And here's the view. Up. That's where we came from. Way, 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 way down there. And then way over there. We're like 30 miles in over the past, last three days we did 30 miles. There is, oh, I can't see. There is the way up to camp one. It's camp one's behind that big, I don't even know what to call that. Uh, Aconcagua's off, so the summit you can't really see. It's behind that as well. What is this, night two at base camp? Yeah. Night two at base camp. Uh, starting to get very cold. Tomorrow morning is our earliest morning. 4 a.m. wake up, 5 a.m. breakfast, 5 6 a.m. leave. 6 a.m. leave. Carrying about 20 pounds. No, more than that. 20 kilos. Uh, maybe not that much. <laughs> 15 <laughs> kilos. Maybe like, yeah, 10. 15 kilos. Probably like 30, 35 wide. pounds. We all had our med checks today and we're killing we it. Passed. <laughs> <laughs> Base camp. Oh, down there. We're like, I don't know how long, 45 minutes into carry to camp one. Bags are pretty heavy, pretty cold outside. That's where we're going up there. Sun coming up, gonna come sooner. Yo, what just happened, Johnny? Argentina just won the World Cup. Yeah, yeah. Where are we? Where are we? We are in Argentina. Hell <laughs> yeah. We have a bunch of Argentinians. Yeah. Dude, how are they not going nuts right now? Right? We're at altitude. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> won't be able to breathe. I had her after <laughs> I got off. It's like I got to get stuff done. <laughs> Touchdown. Supplies. A person. Who knows? Look at them all grow crazy. A person too. More supplies. Maybe they didn't hike. They just flew in. I think that's the thing you can do. Lives. 
Is it going now? Yes. Okay, we're going to do a vulnerable vlog. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, Brian's going to be able That's to watch That's not my cup of tea. Hey, guys. So, today sucked. Literally, actually thought I was going to die. So did Maya. Let's catch us on video that Ryan saved my life. Yeah, Ryan really Ryan did. Ryan did save my life. I, do you remember what happened? But I don't I don't remember what happened. I kind of had a lot of fun on the steep part. No, I cried tough. approximately seven times today and then strategized how I was going to get the helicopter out of here. Um, did you never let me tell you what I talked to two Julia about? Only day four. That's two Julia. So. No, Julia. Two Julia. You talked to Julia about something? So, so no, you go pee Ryan's we'll trying to make me feel better about the rest of the expedition. Um, and he's going to share what he talked to our yeah. guide, Julia, about Julia's today. Julia's opinion that day or today, what we just did, the carry to Camp One, yeah. um, is the hardest day except for Summit Day. Really? Mm -hmm. We already knew that. What is her opinion of how we did? Did she say? I mean, time wise, we did pretty good. Really? I think so. Made it back. Other than the fact that we literally almost fell down the mountain, Julio had to grab the back of my bag and drag me across the rocks that I was falling down the steep mountain and then told me it's okay, my legs were just too weak to do it myself. <laughs> and Ryan had to save Maya from falling down the, the steep rocks. Yeah, Brian, what and happened? we literally were all falling down the remember. side of a mountain. It was <laughs> terrifying. Was, like a specific moment. You stopped me. You Maybe. There was twice. <laughs> there was definitely twice where twice. I was going to die. Well, I started going one way, and then I, like, just slipped and was going to die. And then I started going the other way, and I think I slipped, and that's when, like, you literally caught Oh! Oh, oh, oh! I was trying to cross, and you literally... You pulled me. Yeah. You, Ryan pulled a Julia, and he had, like, stepped across the, like, rocks to, like, where I was trying to be. And then I started trying to do that, and the rocks just, like, crumbled. <laughs> so he literally just, like, grabbed my hand and pulled me up. <laughs> oh, good job, Brian. I'm sad you guys didn't, like, I had a lot of fun on that part. I hated it. What? I think if I yeah, had... it was like... I thought I was going to die. That's really not fun. If there was enough... Oh, also, we would like to note there was minimum 45 pounds on our back. No, so, this is important. Um, I think if we, like, had a more oxygen content in the air and had a moment to just, like, take a deep breath, then it would have been fine. Except but the rocks were falling everywhere. There was yeah, no room did. to take I a deep breath. Like 50 meters. Yeah. It was the last 50 meters, meters, meters and it literally was, like, climb. straight up and down. Like, we were scrambling for our lives. On an avalanche. On an avalanche. Of there rock. was an avalanche. <laughs> No, basically, no one could take any steps without a million rocks cr crumbling underneath them and then falling five meters. Like, every time you took a step, you had to take extra steps to make Hey, it. MTV, welcome to our basement crib. <laughs> this is the dining room slash reading Wait, 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 no, we need more context about what this base camp is. Oh, okay, sorry. All right, we're at base camp at Plaza Argentina, which is only on the 360 route side of the mountain. We're on the east side of the mountain. Northeast side of the mountain. Mountain there. somewhere over there. Um, glacier there. Yeah, glacier right there. Started over there. Started, well. Behind those. Casa de Piedras over there, and then we started way, way over there. So we got to base camp three days ago. This will be our fourth night sleeping. Uh, we did a carry to Camp One yesterday, and tomorrow we moved to Camp One to sleep. Welcome to the dining room. Did you say, hey, MTV, welcome to my crib? Yeah, we yeah. do. You want to hey. say it too? Hey, MTV, welcome to my crib. <laughs> Maya, where are we right now? We're um, inside our dome or igloo or whatever you call it at base camp. <laughs> okay, end um, the vlog. What? And, Why? Yeah. You can't have like two and a half minute segments. <laughs> Trust me. What? Baby, you like switch up the angle and everything. Did it start again? Is it going it right yeah. now? But we, what, what are we doing in here? That was fine. We never described <laughs> this room. Yes, we did. It's the dining room, the reading room. Welcome to the dining room. <laughs> you never like pointed out like, oh, this is where all like the teas and coffees and like crackers are, hot water. They might. Okay, so this is all Angie's area of base camp. So here we have the kitchen where they cook all of our meals and where we watch the World Cup final, which Argentina won in. Jonathan is hang drying his clothes. All of our tents are up the hill where we will start our trek tomorrow. Heading into Grijales area. Well, this is still our area. We have our shower and staff shower in this dome. This is our sink where we wash our hands and clothes. There's our water tank. 
over here are our wonderful toilets. And look at the sunset that's going on right now. Pretty cool. Um, yeah, toilets over there. Should we show them? Why not? Well, we'll open them. That one has a seat. I haven't used that one because the seat has like a weird like I don't even know how to describe it. I'm not gonna show it. It has like a weird catch pan at the front and I just don't know how sitting down works with the male physiology. This one, that's what I've been using. Good old hole in the ground. Still nicer than what we're gonna be doing up there where there's no toilets. All right, now we're heading into Grahale's territory of base camp. So this is where we entered our trek to base camp when we came here four days ago. <laughs> Hands are freezing. Oh, you can kind of see the top of Aconcagua. Oh, you can. Summit is right around there. It's kind of in the clouds and also kind of obscured. So we're about to take our helmets off. Everybody else down there resting. We're crossing over this big glacier moraine right now and Camp One is like kind of way up there. Plaza Argentina. Camp one is like there. You can kind of see the trail. How we feeling? Only. <laughs> Tired. Tired. How you doing, guys? One right up there.
to the top. Not really the top. <laughs> the top of Camp One. <laughs> We're at Camp One. What's up? That's what we didn't do today. Guess what we didn't do today? That's what we didn't do today. Almost die? Oh, we didn't almost die and we didn't cry. Good work. <laughs> no tears We today. also beat our time. Yeah, you guys killed it. Majestic. Holy moly, it's a howling wind. day. That's the route. Camp one is way down there. There's Julia. <laughs> Summit is up there. Camp two is somewhere around here. We gotta cross that and then move left a little bit. Thank you. 
little spot. <laughs> How you feeling? Let's go. Good job. <laughs> Nina, how you feeling? Not bad, not great. <laughs> we got like 36 hours of rest in front of us though. Looking forward to it. That's gonna be nice. Whoa! We made it. <laughs> what a view. Hello world, here at Camp 2, about 18,000 feet, I'm going to show you how I fill my water bottle. But first, there's the summit, I don't know what auto exposure means, sure, why not. There's the summit, here's this big little ice field, and here's where I'm filling my water. So, I don't know if you can tell, there's lots of just sediment. Which is kind of annoying. So you gotta try to clear that out first. Alright, that's not that much. That's good enough. A little bit of sediment's okay. You can tell the last little bit of water. And then you just don't drink the rest. And then you set your bottle. Try to get as little rock as possible. It's easier with two hands for sure. And bada thing. That's uh, I don't know what the hell my camera's doing here, but that's a full water bottle. I'm gonna screw her up. Make sure it's tight. and then bring it back to camp to enjoy. And that's how you fill your water bottles. Look at the ice, that's pretty cool. And tents are over there. See, you might wonder why not that raging river. Lots of dirt in that river. Gotta find the small stream. Major wind coming off of the summit right now. It's like 6.30 p.m. Uh, what's the date? December 22nd? Thursday? Yeah. Camp 2. Weather's not that bad, not that cold right now. When the sun goes down, it's gonna be cold as could be. But wind has died down a little bit. Summit looks pretty nasty. Feeling pretty solid. I think the team's feeling a little lethargic, a little headache right now. I feel pretty, pretty good, knock on wood. Gotta keep drinking the water. But we got a rest day tomorrow, so plenty of time to, pro tip, plenty of time to start feeling better. And camp three is right about there. Which looks really close, but it's gonna be tough. Hi, mom. Hi, dad. Also, hi, also, Chef Rob. Look at what I'm eating. Yum! <laughs> Aren't you so proud of me? <laughs> it's about, or it is, almost 9 p.m. on the 22nd. December, we are at Camp 2, But look at this view. Nuts. Absolutely nuts. 
we're at 18,000 feet. Looking down at some tall mountains and looking up at a very tall one. What up? It's only getting better. I'm cold though. I feel like I gotta go inside and recharge for a couple minutes and then come back out. <laughs> This is my one. This is my one rat gear that's letting me down. Wait, is it, are they not comfortable? They're, they're rats. They're not warm. Mm -hmm. These are honestly my toes are frozen right now. Really? But it must I think it's my socks. The socks are really warm. Oh, the camera does not even come close to picking it up. Yeah, it is. Ooh. It's too dark though. Oh my god, I almost just died on my head. Oh. We have just donned crampons. Now we're gonna go practice. In the sunny day, we have a small train. We don't have this space for. A few. Update, we are a couple hundred feet above camp two on a little snow field practicing crap on. Gotta go. Hello, hello. <laughs> Rest day at Camp 2, December, Friday, December 23rd. It's like 4 p.m., 4.30 p.m. I'm pretty bored sitting in my tent, so I'm going to show you how to use the bathroom at high camp. So there's our lovely Camp 2. That's my tent right there. Nina and Maya and then Johnny and Eugenie are kind of right on the other side. There's the summit of Mokagla. There's some terrible looking weather coming in. I think it's supposed to snow in the next day. That's going to be not fun. Or maybe it will be. Who knows? But I digress. Oh. The mighty poop tent. So, what you do when nature calls is you come on over to this poop tent. You open this door, and then also this one. You get inside, not very spacious. You close these doors. You got newspapers right there. You take one like fold of newspaper. Lay it on the ground in the middle of the poop tent. Get into as comfortable a squatting position as you can. Do your business. Toilet paper over here. Once that's all finished, you ball up your newspaper. And you put it in that red bag. And then we've got a copious amounts of hand sanitizer. And like, Lysol spray. And that's how you use the bathroom. Not quite as fun as a regular toilet, or as comfortable. We are at camp two. It's like 5 p.m. 
and what's about to start happening? A little snow here. A little it's bit of snow coming. <laughs> you can already kind of see it. I don't know if the camera can pick it up. We got the first flurries. Apparently the weather report yesterday said 22 centimeters. So, and it's supposed to start now and continue tomorrow and the day after tomorrow. So, it's gonna be a white Christmas, but on the bright side, um, apparently the wind is supposed to die down with the snow coming in. And I think I'd rather have snow than wind, because the wind sucks. What about you? Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah? I always love snow. <laughs> <laughs> oh! So, the last glimpse of these mountains. Gonna, might be the last we see of them for a while. You can see the snow already coming down. The summit is nowhere. Oh man. That's life. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, Maya? <laughs> <laughs> Update time. It's dark. I thought it'd be a little lighter than this. Um, some not great news. We're gonna spend another day at Camp 2 tomorrow resting. It's supposed to snow like eight centimeters tomorrow. And then the really bad news is the day after tomorrow it's supposed to snow 22 centimeters and then the day after that it's another 17 centimeters. So, summit chance is not looking great. We got a little, tiny dusting of snow here earlier today. Nothing accumulated here, but up on the summit, or towards the summit, there's some accumulation. You can't really see it. So, sunset's really nice. It's cold here, really cold. So, we'll see. We will see. If any summit's happening, it's happening in a good amount of snow, so that'd be kind of cool. Get to use crampons, basically, for the remainder of our expedition. But yeah, I'm cold, I'm going back to my tent. It is Christmas Eve and I'm sitting here in my tent. This is our second rest day at Camp 2. The weather is beautiful outside. It's kind of windy right now, but hasn't been that windy today. A little cold, but it's to be expected. The snow that was forecasted hasn't come yet. It would have been a fantastic day to make a carry to Camp 3. Here's a tent tour. It's my half. I'm on my sleeping bag on my mattress on my foam pad there's some stuff in there some bags gopro case pee bottle uh, toiletries food some other random stuff and then me that's jonathan's half of the tent he's got stuff all over the place this is where we've been camped out for the past nine days? I don't know. So, yeah. Hopefully the carry goes well tomorrow, or the move goes well tomorrow, and we can make a good summit push. The snow has arrived at Camp 2. And it's going to keep coming for a while. The summit is hidden, and I'm sure very snowy, probably pretty windy. So, yeah, that's a cool view. At least in like half an hour, an hour, maybe everything will look all pretty and white, but not great as far as summit chances go. 
but it's gonna be a white Christmas for sure. It's such a weird snow, it's so fine. Merry Christmas! It's like 9 a.m. Christmas morning. There's Aconcagua in the back. We s avoided a lot of the snow last night. It seems like we were supposed to get like three inches here and we got a dusting and it's all gone now. A little bit of snow up close to the summit, but not as much as they had said there was gonna be. But if you look over there, Oh, not not these two. Those mountains got plastered. Same with that one way over there. Brisk. It was really cold last night. Really cold. But to be expected. All right, breakfast time. <laughs> We're like halfway <laughs> to camp three and it is snowing snowing hard like Christmas baby <laughs> Almost camp free. Snow's picked up a little bit. It's starting to stick. How you doing, or not? <laughs> the snow's coming up at us. Last little push into Camp Cholera. Right up We are at Camp 3, Camp Cholera, just under 20,000 feet, 6,000 meters. It's uh, about, I don't know what time it is. It's 8, 10 p.m. Got some bad news today. We are ending our expedition here. Weather is not good, as I'll show you in a second. We've got about a foot of snow today. Um, went through some serious snow on our way up to cholera, and it has been unrelenting ever since. It's pretty much a white out out there. Um, and it's freezing, and not just like colder than 32 Fahrenheit, zero Celsius. Tonight is supposed to be some around minus 35 Celsius. 
I think that's like in the minus 20s or maybe minus 30 Fahrenheit. Um, so that's gonna suck, it's already freezing. Every, th every time you step outside, it's just heinous. Um, yeah, bummer about the weather. The snow's not supposed to stop tomorrow at all. Cause I feel great. No headaches, acclimating really well. Feel strong, feel like we could have done it, but the weather's not on our side. And here's the dreaded moment. I don't want to go outside because it's so cold and windy and snowy, but this is what we're dealing with right now. Those are our two tents. It's our dining tent. As you can see, everything is just covered in snow. The snow is just flying and crazy. I don't know if the camera picks it up or not. It's freezing. Really, really cold. And it's not supposed to let up. So, I'm gonna turn this off before I get frostbite. Try to go stay warm in my tent until we leave tomorrow morning. So, yeah. What are we about to do? We're about to take our blood oxygen here at 6,000 meters. Yeah. <laughs> It's the morning of the 26th. Kind of nice outside, not too cold, but we'll see. <laughs> it's getting higher actually. Oh, 63 though. Oh, very good. good. Alright, now time for mine. Let's see if uh, the acclimatization has been as good as uh, published. <laughs> Oh, not bad. Not bad at all. <laughs> the kid's a real mountaineer. <laughs> wow! <laughs> wow. <laughs> not bad at all. <laughs> wow. Whoa! <laughs> not bad. The pulse is so low. <laughs> Can he say He's a mountain beast. Four and a Four and his pulse is like 77. <laughs> Good morning. It's like, I don't know, 9.30, almost 10 a.m. Oh, on December 26th, we're here at Camp Cholera. Six thousand meters. Beautiful morning, not that cold. As you can see, we've got <laughs> our snow from yesterday. The weather actually doesn't look too bad. Um, we were this was supposed to be our summit day, but we didn't make an attempt because of the weather. Um, right now, at least the weather looks fine, but. Sounded like there was going to be snowstorms again in the early afternoon that could have hampered progress seriously or even been a little dangerous. So we took the conservative option and did not make a summit attempt. There was one other team up here at Camp Cholera that did, a team of Russians. They left at around 4.30 a.m. for their summit bid, but they had all returned by around 6, 6.30. Um, apparently the weather was just frigid, really bad winds. So probably a good thing that we didn't make our attempt. Last night was like minus 35 Celsius. Um, and I can only imagine that once you started getting up a little bit higher, a little less protected than here, things could get pretty serious. So yeah, it's a bummer. We're not making a summit attempt at all. Um, a few of us felt great, 
we just checked our blood oxygen saturation. Mine was at 80, <laughs> which at base camp was like 84. So apparently I've been acclimating pretty well, but it is what it is. Can't change the weather. But let's see. Let me walk over here, see if I can get a good view of a part of the mountain that we haven't seen. We're gonna have dinner and then, or not dinner, <laughs> we're gonna have breakfast here shortly. And then our plan is to by 11 start descending down to Plaza de Mulas. So looking forward to 14,000 feet. It's gonna be so much air. Wow, that's a view. Crazy. So there's the route down. Not really sure. Oh, let's, that's gotta be Camp 2, Nido de Condores. And then I think we must go to the left down past Camp 1, Camp Canada, and then to Plaza de Mulas. But I suppose that should be a pretty short journey down, but I don't know if the snow will make a big, big difference. It might be a little slower. Yeah, we really got hammered with snow yesterday. And apparently today is going to be the same starting in a few hours, so. Well, I'm going to go try to eat something. Team is currently skiing down La Concagua on our boots. Oh yeah. Snowstorms just started. Can't flee up that way. Got a blast. Well. Good thing we didn't try to summit today. This is crazy! <laughs> I feel like we experienced a whiteout. Yeah, this is a whiteout. <laughs> what? Nuts, absolutely crazy. Can't see anything. <sighs> Gotta go, hands are cold. Something like that. It's been white out all day. Ryan got lost in the snowstorm. <laughs> <laughs> Questionable. Freshly showered. Cool Aconcagua style. <laughs> it's so Hey MTV, welcome to my crib. What's our crib look like? This is um, Plaza de Mulas. Pretty big. New York of the base camps. New York in the 70s. 
New York in the Is 70s. That Chicago? Did you show them our, our home? No. Show them our home. Here's our home for last night. Dental hygiene, very important. So we're about to leave Plaza de Mulas. And here's the view. That's Aconcagua up that way. That is not even close to the summit though. It's way over there. Weather doesn't look too bad down here. Kind of sunny, getting getting pretty warm, which is nice. Probably another snowstorm up high today. But we'll be gone. Seven hour trek ahead. See ya. Is it not landing? <laughs> Dude, I thought this was supposed to be like an ace pilot. Every other time he's just like zoomed in. The guy who drives is the same as the last 16 years. Uh, it's called El Duro. El Duro. The hard, the tough. Ya nada me parece interesante. Yo si ti no vuelvo a enamorarme, bebé. All of Nina's ailments. Blue well, is going to the right. There's the gang. We're in the middle of a dried up river, I guess. I mean, there's still some the river left, but most of it's very dry. The sun is 
understand. Alright. We keep moving. There's the group. Um, I see that guy. That's behind the clouds called Pyramida. Or Pyramidia. Apparently, some climbers found the uh, Incan mummy up there. Fun fact: one of these two guys is called Mexico. It's supposed to be green, white, and red. I don't really see it in either of them. And that one is called Dados. I suppose it looks like fingers. Yep. Yeah. I'll go catch the group now. It's a pretty wobbly bridge. He's running across the bridge. <laughs> Concagua. Story of our trip. Really nice lake though. We are 
are at the end of the road. More really the start of the road. There's old helicopter guy. And I think that's our van over there. Well, that is all she wrote.